So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Power Week, means that the Power BI team has released a new Power BI desktop update. This time is July 2019, and I'm going to review now the Power Query function. There's a new Power Query function in the user interface, and that is splits columns by position. And you might think, hey, why even bother? What's the deal with that? Well, I thought the same. I thought this is going to be an easy peasy video, two minutes and I'm done. No, it's not. So much for my new life. It is highly confusing. It, it is not. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you so you don't have to do the same mistakes as I did, as always. Okay. Split by position. So, I took a column where, you know, in Power BI, this is a Northwind data set. Pick a random column just to test the functionality. I picked phone. Okay. And then I went to split by column, by positions. And on the Manda's video, I have to go and check it because it was like, what's going on? I, she had, she gets a recommendation of where to split the numbers. I did not. And I still don't get a recommendation. It is blank. So I said, okay, let's write something. I said, I want to split by position five. We'll talk about the advanced options in a second. And the split by positions. First of all, the change type annoys the it annoys me. It would be great if we were removed because I have to remove them by hand all the time. I don't want to change the type. If I want to change the type, I'll change it myself. But there is a change type there. Get rid of it. And what do you see? When Amanda did that, she got two columns. And I was expecting to get two columns. I got one. I was like, what? Okay. Let's go, let's do like this. That was the only way for me to make sense of all of this. I duplicate the column. Just so I could see what was, what was going on. And then I went in here, you know, to the split column position and went back. And I started to look like what on earth is going on. And as you can see, let me show you. This is the duplicated, right? This is the one that has been split in. So I said split by position five. So I go one, two, three, four, oh, one, two, three, four, five, and it's around there. So what I see here is that one. Where is the rest? I was expecting to get two columns, especially because I saw a video and it was, she got two columns. And I go, what? Highly confusing. Okay. After a lot of trials and errors, I watched Amanda's video again and I noticed that when she gets a suggestion, she got a zero. So if, let me get rid of that, if we write zero in there as a position, so now, uh, what happens now, what happened to me too, and this is good for you to know either way, you know, because we only have one column name when I added split by two, it just gave me the first digit. So look at what I have now. I have zero to four, and the rest is gone with the wind. The same as before, but before I have the end, and now I have the beginning. <laughs> What on earth? Okay, no worries. I'm gonna show you. I'll, I'll figure it out at the end. So, because we just have one column name, is given as a result of just one column name. So, if I put it there and I put, you know, if I add another column name, now it's showing me what I was suspecting from the beginning. So, you're showing me phone one, which is up to digit four and then up to digit five. Jeez. Yeah. So the, the thing is, if you go in here and you do that from the beginning, you say, you, ha you have to know this. Here's the thing. You have to know that you have to put zero and then five. It will create the columns 
itself, obviously. And now you see it's doing it correctly. It's creating point one, point two. The no, it didn't add the change type. Okay, so you don't have to worry. Once you know the trick that you have to put the zero on, then now here's the thing: if you just want to have the last five, now you know what you can do. You can actually just you have to remove the zero. If you want to have the last five, you have to remove the zero and then leave one of the columns. Otherwise, it won't work. But you saw it. So let's go back to the user interface. And here is position zero, five, and then you have the possibility to split into columns and into rows. Columns is by default. And I was thinking, rows, what, what is it going to do? Well, it's actually splitting it by rows, my friends, obviously. Um, you see? So it duplicates the row and it gives you one on the other one. I don't have in mind a business case where this would be useful. If you do have it, let us all know in the comment box. No idea. But, you know, probably it is useful in some case. If I find it too, I'll, I'll let you know, obviously. But essentially this is what you need to know. You need to know that you have to specify all the columns that you want, otherwise it won't work. And that's all. So one more video, one more video in the July update and then hopefully soon August update is coming. So I will continue the power week with those videos too. Have a great day and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye bye.